What's up guys, my name is Brovax and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. The method we'll be using today is the layer by layer method and the reason we're doing so is because I believe it's the easiest to understand and the easiest to memorize. So let me show you what we're going to be solving today. A face. first layer and the second layer I'm also going to be showing you guys how to solve the final layer but I'll be doing that in a second video so let's go over some basics about the cube so the first thing are centerpieces. Centerpieces define the color of a face. So this is a white centerpiece, so this is a white face. This is a blue centerpiece, so this is a blue face, and so on. Next we have corner pieces. Corner pieces will always be corner pieces. And we have side pieces, and side pieces will always be side pieces. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to solve a face. So I feel like the best way to approach this is by showing you different scenarios. So here's the first one. So let's say we want to replace this corner piece with a white corner piece to complete the face. So first we have to find that white corner piece and we find it here. So the first thing we do is we line it up with the piece we want to replace and do the following opposite so opposite direction of where we want to replace the piece down we're gonna bring down that piece that we want to replace back up so the same thing goes when it's on the opposite side so let's say we want to replace this corner piece so first we have to find the white corner piece First, we have to line it up and do the following. Opposite, down, back, up. So the next scenario is, let's say we want to replace a side piece. So first, we have to find that white side piece. We have to line it up and we do the following opposite in this case it doesn't matter which way opposite is so I'm gonna go to the right down back which is to the left up so here's another scenario so now let's say we want to replace this yellow piece with a white side piece first we have to find that white side piece and we find it here so all we have to do is again line it up with the piece we want to replace and do the following opposite down back up and the same goes for the opposite side so let's say we want to replace this green piece with a white side piece so we find that white side piece and it's over here first we have to line it up and do the following opposite down back up so next scenario <clears throat> so now let's say we want to replace this corner piece with a white corner piece which is here first thing we have to do is down and this is on the right side so we're gonna go to the right and up and now we have this piece here that we want to replace and put it here and we already went over this scenario so opposite down back 
up. So same thing goes for the opposite side. So now it's on the left side. So first thing we have to do is down. This is on the left side, so we're gonna go to the left. Up. Now the white piece is here, and we wanna put it here. So we already went over the scenario. So opposite, down, back, up. So next scenario. So now let's say we want to place this side piece with a white side piece. We'd have to first find that white side piece and we find it on the bottom. So what we do is we line up that white side piece with the with side piece we want to replace and do the following. Down, turn it twice in either direction, and up. Next scenario. So now let's say we want to replace this corner piece with a white corner piece. We have to first find that white corner piece, and we find it on the bottom. So what we do first is down. So this is on the left side. So we're going to go to the left twice, once, twice, and we find it here. But first we have to bring this part up. So now what we do is we want to replace this corner piece with the white corner piece. So first we have to line it up with the corner piece we want to replace and do the following. Opposite, down, back, up. Same goes for the opposite side. So let's say we want to replace this corner piece with a white corner piece. We find that white corner piece and find it on the bottom. So we do down. This is on the right side, so we're going to go over to the right twice. One, two. Bring the side back up. And now we find the white piece here. So all we have to do is line it up and do the following. Opposite, down, back, up. So now those are all the scenarios you're going to go through to solve a face of a cube. So now we're ready to solve the first layer. So before we get started with solving the first layer, let's go over some basics. So we have to remember that a centerpiece defines the color of a side. So this is a green centerpiece. So this first layer is going to have to be green. Next thing to note is that every piece required to solve the first layer is already going to be in the first layer, just in a mixed up order that you have to rearrange in the correct position. So with that being said, let's get started. So let's focus on the green layer first. So this is a green corner piece, which is correct, because it matches up with the green face. However, this is a blue side piece, which doesn't match up with the green face. So we have to replace this blue side piece with a green side piece. So we go looking for that green side piece, and we find it here. So we have to take this green side piece and put it in this position. So the first thing we have to do is take this white side piece out of position. So we're going to do that by going down side, doesn't matter which side, up. So now we have this white piece here with the green bottom. So we have to match this green bottom with the green face, which we already have. And we have to put this white piece here. So opposite, down, back, up. So now we've completed the first, one of the uh, faces layer. So next we see that there's a white side piece missing, so we find that white side piece. Now this white side piece has a blue bottom, so we have to match it up with the blue side, which is here. And we replace this white piece with that white piece. So we go opposite, down, back, up. And we've done that. Next, again, we see that we have a white side piece missing, so we find that white side piece, and it has a red bottom, so we match it up with the red side. And we do opposite, down, back, up. So now, <clears throat> let's finish this red layer. So we need to replace this blue corner piece with a red corner piece. So let's find that red corner piece, and we find it here. So we have to bring it out of position. So this is on the right side, so down, opposite, which is going to be to the left, 
and up. So now we have a white piece with a red bottom. So we match it up with the red side. And we do opposite. So this is on the right. So we go left, down, back, up. So now we completed the red layer. So now we have one last piece here, the uh, white uh, corner piece, and with an orange bottom. So we bring it to the orange side, and we do opposite, down, back, up. And with that move, we completed the first layer. And those are all the scenarios you're going to go through to complete a la the first layer. So now we're ready to solve the second layer. So. The key to solving the second layer are in these bottom side pieces. The colors of these side pieces will define where we have to begin our algorithm. So first let's do, uh, let's say we want a red piece here and a blue piece here. So we go to these side pieces and we find a red and a blue, we find a red piece with a blue bottom. This is perfect, so we line it up with the red side, because this is a red side piece. And we have to put this red piece here, and this blue piece here. So we do the following, opposite, so opposite direction of where we want it. So it's going to be to the left, down, we bring that down the piece that we want to replace. Back, up. So now, it hasn't been replaced yet but we see that we have a white corner piece missing, which is here. So we do opposite, down, back, up. And we put the red piece where we want it and the blue piece where we want it. So now let's do red and green. So we look for red and green. We find red and green. So first we line it up. This is a red uh, side piece. So we line it up with the red side. We want to put this red piece here and this green piece here. So what we have to do is opposite. So opposite direction of the piece we want to replace. Down, we bring down that piece we want to replace. Back, up. So now we haven't replaced them yet, but we see that we need to replace this white corner piece, which is here. So we do the same thing. Opposite, down, back, up. So we, we completed that uh, scenario. So we have one more piece we have to replace. We need an orange piece here and a blue piece here. So we go to these side pieces and we look for, we have orange and yellow, which is not what we need. Uh, we have blue and yellow, which is not what we need. And then we have blue with orange, which is exactly what we need. So first we line up this blue side piece with the blue side. And we need to put this blue piece here and this orange piece here. So what we do is opposite, down, back, up. Now it hasn't been replaced yet, but we see we were missing a white corner piece, which is here. So we do again, opposite, down, back, up. So now we completed the second layer. So now one scenario that we uh, didn't go over, which is this one, so here's the, the scenario that we haven't gone over yet. So we need a green piece here and a red piece here. But when we look at the side pieces, we see that we don't find this red and green piece. Because it's over here. Red and green. So what we have to do is take it out of place. So basically what we do is we pretend that this is the piece we need to replace here. And this is the piece we need to put here. So we just do opposite, down, back, up opposite, down, back, up. What we see is that we found that green and red piece that we need. So now that we've done that, all we have to do is put this green piece here and this red piece here. And we go opposite, down, back, up. And then we replace this corner piece with the white corner piece. And we go opposite, down, back, up. Now you officially know all the scenarios to solve the second layer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer. 
Also, make sure to watch part two to this video, which shows how to completely solve the Rubik's Cube after the second layer. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. This is Brovax, thanks for watching.